Can I ask you about Havana Syndrome? Have there been any more U.S. military personnel who've been affected by Havana Syndrome? Uh, I don't have any additional data. Um, we continue to get reports, um, and we continue to investigate them. I, I couldn't give you a, a number today, um, but there have been there have been additional um, uh, uh, claims of those kinds of uh, phenomena uh, over recent months, and we look at each and every one of them, and we talk to every individual. Some of them. Uh, uh, are inconclusive, to be honest, uh, about whether it really was uh, AHI. But I think you saw that just recently the secretary put out a memo to the entire workforce uh, that he too wants them to take this seriously and to make sure that if they believe that they have fallen victim to this uh, health phenomena that they report it, uh, both uh, through the medical uh, service providers as well as their chain of command so we can uh, you know, log it in and, and again, investigate them. In which regions were you hearing complaints the most? I don't have a breakdown of, of regions, Jen. And there were complaints that State Department officials were not allowed to use Walter Reed and the um, National Intrepid Center of Excellence for their traumatic brain injuries resulting from Havana Syndrome. Is that because Walter Reed has restrictions, the Pentagon has restrictions, or the State Department has restrictions? Who's denying them that ability? Well, as you know, Walter Reed is designed for active duty families and, uh, uh, and of course, veterans. Uh, so it's, it's a military hospital, and uh, it provides care to military and, and veteran populations. But let me take your question. I'm not aware of this, this issue complaint, so rather than spitball it here. Let me find out for you and we'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah, Christina. 